Hey guys, Sean here from Rollback Productions on a really crappy, rainy, cold day in May. It's like 47 or 48 degrees out, and we're here to check on flash vertical velocity construction mainly. Probably blah, probably won't end up riding anything today just because it's raining. I don't really like sitting on wet seats. As you can see, more flash track has been installed since last week. They've started the stall element here, which has an interesting like support underneath it. Kind of looks like the support is like way too close to the track and there's like a clearance envelope issue, but I don't know, you know, one of these already operates out in Asia, so I'm, I'm sure it's okay, but they're actively putting pieces together. Uh, right now, actually, I saw them just moving the crane a minute ago, and there's track pieces on the ground over there and supports and all types of other stuff. Oh, look at all this pollen mixing with the rainwater. My allergies have been killing me, and holy crap, look at that. They've added the Great Adventure banner over the lion since last week. Whoa, I've never seen the sign look like this before. Wow. Of course, like I mentioned last week, this lion with the with the banner used to sit out by the road at the main entrance to the park back in the day. I think this was the original sign. Pretty sure. Back in 1974. And they've had a few different signs over the years. And we're gonna head over here toward Flash. Currently, as we look over the fence, you can see the back end of the uh, stall coming into shape. Right past the station, they've uh, installed that whole big truss support and the uh, the big piece going up into the stall in the back end there just today I think and then uh, or maybe possibly yesterday I'm not too sure but yeah they're actively working on this and construction's moving along pretty fast when it's rainy and uh, slow skyscraper runs a special cycle they call it rain mode and it's a slightly longer cycle that spins lower to the ground on, on top of the canopy over here I feel like it was raining last week when we were here too on Friday. Park management is out and about here, chilling. And from this angle, you can really see the uh, progression. I didn't even notice this one sort of diagonal support that, that's been also put up since last week. So much work being done here. I'm very surprised because for a while they had all the footer, footers and stuff set, you know, ready to go for installation. and. The, it sat for like a month or two before any other work got done. And they started finally bringing in track pieces and stuff. And this is looking great. They have to uh, install some more vertical uh, pieces here on the spike. It's gonna be much, much taller. I think it's just like 160 or 170 feet or something like that. It's gonna be a really cool ride. I think, I think people are sleeping on this. I think it's gonna be a really uh, good, probably top five attraction here. You know, depending on what you like in roller coasters, you know. Everybody prefers a little bit of something different. But for me, this is for sure gonna be top five worthy in the park. Well, it looks like they put the crane away for right now. It's not moving or anything, but, wow. Sorry in advance if this video is a little bit short, but you know, with the weather the way it is, I kind of just came to see all this crazy construction going on here. I never noticed you could see Nitro's hammerhead from all the way back here. I think this week, Batman only has maybe like a five minute wait or something like that. There's no one in line outside of the station. I think I want to go inside to eat right now. It is not very warm out. We're going to check out Granny's. I don't know if I mentioned this yet or not, but Skull Mountain's back open again. Uh, with the same effects almost as Skull Mountain Remix, which was a version of the ride with more lights and music effects. It was really funny though. My friend Colin from Hollywood Studios came here on the day that they opened Skull Mountain back up again and reported back with no effects on, on his first ride. It just was like regular Skull Mountain, dark, no, no effects and nothing. <laughs> it's really funny. He got off, he was like, well, it was exactly the same. And then I think later on in the day, they ended up turning the effects on. It was pretty funny. You go check out his walk. Not much action over here at the Skyway. It's supposedly under refurbishment, or it was. Um, there was a sign, I think. It was, I don't know. But there just doesn't seem to be a lot of work going on over here. Of course. The one side, the side on the far left from where I'm standing, was closed uh, pretty much all of last season. Passing by two rides that look good on paper, but actually aren't if you ride them. Like this, um, this roundup ride, it only goes up at like a 30 degree or 45 degree angle. 
this, uh, this pirate ship doesn't swing very high. That's green on the Superman. What? Of course, like to most people, they won't really even notice that it's like kind of a lame version of this ride. That's about as high as it goes. I hope the Villain's Cafe here comes back with the uh, pineapple Dole Whip. Man, I love Dole Soft Serve. The machine is still in there. You can even see Flash from all the way over here if you look closely. Just grabbed a milkshake from Johnny Rockets using my dining pass. And look, they added a little jukebox. <laughs> it's not a legit one, of course, but it's kind of cool. But originally I went into Yum Yum to get a milkshake because they added it to that, the menu this year and it's a snack. Or it says it is on the on the menu. It's weird. If you look, it has the little snack icon next to it. So I asked the cashier to get it and he, he took the discount off and I said no as a snack. And he acted like I was the dumb one and he was just like, uh, no, no, you only got 35% off. Um, do you, uh, and I said, no, it's on the dining pass. And he said, no, it's not. Instead of like telling me like the menu's wrong, he's just like, no, it's not. You know, uh, acting like I was the wrong one. Uh, you know, uh, employees here frustrate me sometimes. They just don't uh, act like they should. They're just not very friendly toward the guests. Of course, I get it. Sometimes people have bad days or sometimes the guests here could be complete jerks too. Tastes like they're using like a different type of milkshake mix or something. It's delicious. Still looks like there's some sections of log flume track missing. I saw it out in the uh, parking lot last week. Not the main parking lot, but the, the little auxiliary parking lot between the park and Hurricane Harbor. They had the track pieces laid out over there. It looks like El Toro's open. It's heading on up the lift right now. Yeah, it is definitely springtime. Look at all that pollen. My goodness. Oh, it's hauling ass too. So it looks like it's got a full train, regardless of the crappy weather. I honestly don't really think I want to ride that today. I usually will go out of my way any day to ride El Toro, but it is just too damn cold and rainy for me. <laughs> yep. This whole area is being de-themed, like the, uh, the Plaza del Carnaval music they normally play. It's like, you know, authentic Spanish music. I just don't play, it's pop music now. And also they removed the sign for tango and all the shrubbery, curiously enough. Maybe they're just doing some new landscaping and that, that's it. They just put fresh mulch in or something like that. Not much activity over here though. I mean, that, that one train of people is probably all that's up there. is unsurprisingly closed in the late rain it can't operate at all my brain still has trouble processing with the, the big building right here it got removed over the off season and you can just walk straight through it again it's crazy it hasn't been like that since the mid 1970s <laughs> Okay, maybe the milkshake wasn't quite a good idea. It's 46 degrees and now I'm, now I'm even colder than I was before. Really love the new sight lines that we're starting to see now at Flash. Successful little day here we had. We just uh, checked out a few things, mainly the Flash construction. I just can't believe how quickly it's all moving along now. Thank you guys all for watching so much, and I'll talk to you in the next one. Peace out.